While the precise origin of sleeve garters is uncertain, their prominence in images from the mid-1800s suggests their necessity was widespread, and their use one of functionality and style. Originally worn as an undergarment, men's button-down shirts were usually handmade by a wife or mother, and therefore made specifically to fit an individual. As styles and production techniques changed, shirts were accepted as outerwear, and to meet the growing demand, they were made with one standard sleeve length. This standard, while suitable for some, was awkward and quite simply, too long. The need for adjustment was clear, and while rolling up one sleeve was a common response, it wasn't always practical or efficient. The solution? Sleeve garters. Finally, jackets could be put on with ease, and work could be done with little worry of shirt sleeves getting in the way. Welcome back to my 1928, I am Piper Williams. If you're new to this channel and want to learn more about sleeve garters, start now by clicking subscribe and that bell, that way you don't miss any future content. One of the main reasons for the silk lining in most suit jackets is so that the shirt sleeves will slide through smoothly. With many casual jackets, as well as some spring and summer sport coats, there's no lining, which often makes it difficult to pull shirt sleeves through, especially with high friction fabric like denim. Sleeve garters like these not only push the fabric up, creating a larger opening, but also help to hold your shirt sleeves in place as you slide your arms through. This is why smooth surfaces like metal and silk make for efficient sleeve garters. This outfit, inspired by Victorian-era American West, features khaki-colored denim trousers, a khaki and white cotton button-down, a black paisley neckerchief, a blue denim jacket, red braces, a black bowler hat, and silver sleeve garters. A great example of how to see your modern clothing through a vintage lens. The professional wardrobe has changed a great deal over the years, from three-piece suits, top hats, and cravats, to business casual, with open collars, jeans, and yes, athletic shoes. And while it has moved in a casual direction, having a properly fitting shirt is still important for your office attire. Having sleeves that are too long will not only get in your way, but they will also detract from your professional appearance. Whether you're on a budget or a second-hand shopping enthusiast, or of a shorter height like me, it can be difficult and frustrating to find shirts that fit appropriately at a price you can afford. Sleeve garters can offer your shirts a tailored, customizable look without the cost or hassle of alterations. This outfit, as found in many offices today, features a two-piece wool suit in navy, a white cotton button-down with French cuffs, silver and red velvet cufflinks, brown leather wristwatch, belt and penny loafers, a brown imitation leather computer bag, white cotton pocket square, red enamel lapel pin, silver sleeve garters, and sadly, no tie. This look is another great example of modern clothing improved upon with the addition of vintage accessories. Now I'd like to hear from you. How do you wear sleeve garters? Tell me about it in the comment section below. And if you'd like to share your personal style with me on social media, use hashtag my1928 on Twitter and Instagram. As always, like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching.